Concern about the deadly police shooting is being felt all over the country and right here in the metro area. At the University of Michigan campus tonight, about 100 people gathered for a vigil and a protest to keep the conversation open. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini joins us now live with more. Brianne. Well, Glenda, tonight's event here on campus was not just about the two lives lost in police shootings, but really about race relations everywhere. From singing to poetry, I why my last name is such a mystery. Signs and candles. This protest and vigil combined brought out about a hundred people to talk about a major issue. We're going to need to talk about this. Racism is not going to go away, and definitely not talking about it isn't going to help us. Um, so this needs to be talked about. With an open mic, dozens got the opportunity to speak. Arlen Reed is on student government and was one of the organizers of this event. Uh, well, I think it's so important to talk about these two cases and just you know remember that this is our loss. Um, this could be my brother. This could be my father. This could be my cousin. Watching these two deadly police shootings online and on air has been emotional for many people, emotions that carried into this rally. Um, very emotional day, definitely, and I think it's good for people to let their emotions out and have dialogue such as this. Now we will have continued coverage tonight of the vigil on 7 Action News at 11 over on Channel 7. I'll also tell you about the man who shot that video that's so clearly been seen by hundreds of thousands of people across the country tonight and his local ties to Metro Detroit. Live in Ann Arbor, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. The conversation very important amongst young people. Brianne, we thank you so much.